Hello guys, in this short video I want to show you kind of interesting solution from a code that I've been reviewing related to eloquent observers in Laravel. So I saw a project with a lot of observers, which is fine, but when I started to look at them, see the similarities. So created, model name, and then success notification. And similar pattern in all other methods of the observer. Let's look at another observer, almost identical which made me think and I started to dig deeper and noticed quite an interesting solution kind of a pattern. So each method, so whatever happens with the model instance, it sends some kind of notification. So there's send success notification, which is notification to the database. And then there's also send danger notification with just different type of notification also to the database, which is in the base observer trait. So there is a trait used in all of those observers. We can open pretty random observer and you can see the same pattern. Technically, it could be refactored to not repeat this get model name to have one function in constructor or perhaps even a property for the class, which in most cases is even the name of the model itself, like locality in this case. But this is also fine. And this is not all. So how do those observers look so similar and how to write that code manually? In fact, this code was not written manually. So I found the terminal command console command called generate observers. So look at that. So there's PHP artisan custom generate observers, which basically plays with the file system and then launches the artisan call make observer to specific model name and model class as a parameter. And this is done in the for each of files, all files in the models folder, which means that those observers were generated automatically. But then the question is, what is the content of that observer? Why is it custom code instead of regular observer generated with make observer? And for that, the secret here is the custom stub. So I found that in the stubs folder, there's a file for observer, we can scroll to it. And there's observer stub containing all that code with variables of model and model variable. So this is all pre written for all the observers. So you can create your own so called stubs or in fact, edit the default stubs from Laravel core, just run the command PHP artisan stub publish, and you will get the list of stubs, all of the stubs from Laravel core, and you may modify whatever you want. Then each time you launch make observer make model or make whatever, it will get the content from the stub instead of from the core. So yeah, I thought all in all, it's a pretty interesting and non standard solution that I want to show on this channel. What do you think about this? Have you done something like that in your projects like global observers for everything? It's kind of like activity log or audit log for every model for every action, just without any packages with observers with notifications to the database. Let's discuss the solution in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to not miss any other videos and see you guys in those other videos.